Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another Throwback Thursday with me here, the master of hop. It's kicking back with some dead fresh focal banger from Alchemist. I've been wanting to revisit Alchemist for quite a while uh, just because it's one of those kind of, they're kind of like Northeast classics, you know, by now a classic Northeast brewery, which is kind of crazy to say, but they've just been brewing amazing beers for many years now. And John Kimmick, you know, is pretty much the person who was, you know, part of the first wave of making IPAs that were lightly hazy. I mean, it says drink from the can and all this with the, the heady toppers and focal bangers because they look like this, you know, it looks like a New England IPA. The approach here is not to make a beer hazy, but it's in terms of making it more fruity and hop flavors, you know, stand out more and whatnot. But it's, you know, not really maybe what we associate with New England IPA nowadays, because it's still bitter, it's still a little bit dry. It's not this like crazy overripe, saturated, juicy, gushing fruit experience that you've gotten with other brewers like Treehouse and, and whatnot. Uh, but pretty much a legendary brewer right now. And we've got to big, give a big shout out to Will for hooking me up with some awesome, dope, fresh cans of both Heady Topper, Focal Banger, and Rapture. We're gonna be trying all three. And if you haven't seen it already, you can win a set along with an awesome cookbook set as well. So go check that uh, giveaway video out if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, I thought we should give this a whirl and try it again four years later. It's four years ago I had the last, I don't remember the uh, age of the beer when I had it then, but right now this is two weeks fresh. It's two weeks old. It's, the f it's crazy, you know? <laughs> it's nuts to get Alchemist this fresh, which is amazing, man. Uh, so, Heady Topper was probably the beer that put him on the map, but I felt like this was a good place to start because it's 7% and it's, a, you know, an IPA. And I guess you'd call it just an IPA, kind of New England-esque. I don't know. It's kind of its own thing, really, uh, as far as I remember. So, it's Citroen Mosaic Hops, British Malts. You know, it sounds like what a lot of New England uh, IPA producers have been doing. And they talk about wanting you to drink it from the can still and all this stuff, which is uh, it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, if you haven't watched Alchemist's YouTube channel, it's awesome because uh, John Kimmich is, Kimmich is is just sitting and talking about all the beers they release every week and whatnot. But let's dive in. As you saw, I did a slow pour here to get a fantastic head on the beer, which worked. I mean, it looked like a cream top on a Pilsner. So it's not so hop saturated that, you know, the head fades instantly, like with a lot of really well hopped modern beers but it looks gorgeous in the glass. It's like a lightly golden, uh, hazy yellow color. Also one of the things with this, it says to not disturb the sediment in the can. That's why you don't roll can, like you whirl up a lot of hop gunks and yeast gunks and whatnot, because it's unfiltered, it's unpasteurized beer. And like with New England IPAs, I know a lot of people roll cans, and there's so much gunk on the bottom, which is like dead yeast and it's lupulin powder and stuff like this. and like like the hop matter and you get it in beers and like, oh, these, this is scraping and whatnot. Like don't swirl your little IPAs, just drink him uh, in the glass. But yeah, or in a can, at least if it's uh, Alchemist, but it looks beautiful, like a lightly hazy golden yellow. And like the longer this stands in the fridge, as far as I, my experience with these beers from Alchemist, the Heady Topper and, and Focal Banger, the haze drops out a bit over time. It's not like a constant crazy haze. And I think the yeast they talk about with this is the whole, uh, the, the Conan yeast is a deri derived from, from these beers, or that's what they use really, which is a, a, an English strain. And if you use some of these strains, you get that hazy look and juicy flavors, but you don't necessarily have it sticking around for as long as some newer uh, adapted strains. It smells really good. I'm just talking too much. Let's just check this out. Cheers, Will. Oh man, <laughs> that smells so good. Oh. Such a dope mosaic bomb. I'm getting like slight West Coasty blueberry Kush vibes. That's one of the things with Alchemist as well. It's like, it does have a bit of a West Coast approach to the beers. Man, yeah, and there's like a bit of a pithy grapefruits vibe in there, but there's definitely an overripe kind of fruitiness. It's not like gushing juiciness, but it's a like nice overripe fruitiness. Like a stone fruit or something like that, overripe stone fruit. And there's loads of like sweet citrus and tangerine. It's like really peachy as well. Like really stone fruity actually. It really smells a lot like, you know, a hybrid between something New England and, and, and West Coast, which is awesome. I love that like dank hop aroma. It smells really good. I can't remember the IBU count on this, 
and although I've used this theoretical and I don't know how much it really matters, but often when they're like 70 plus, you know they're gonna be bitter beers. Uh, but let's see, I just wanna check out what Focal Banger has in terms of bitterness because I think most of their beers are, yeah, quite bitter. 90 IBUs, 90 IBUs, there you go, my friends. Bitter, bitter beer, let's check it out. Cheers, thanks, Will. Oh man, holy crap, that is such good IPA. I, I would love to have a case of this in my cellar, or my cellar, in my fridge, like, fuck. It's the perfect marriage of like saturation of hot flavor, bitterness, dryness, and uh, it's just like a nice complexity. Lots of flavor for 7%, and it's dry. It's dry and it's bitter. I love it. Like, I think I, I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love a lot of, you know, I love New England IPAs. I still love them. They're still great. But I think I might like something like this more. Like, I'm coming, like, I'm just missing bitterness and dryness in beers. That is an outstandingly crushable mosaic bomb. Like, there's so much mosaic. Like really nice, dope blueberry mosaic kush kind of thing. It, it's like, it's more fruity, fruity kush, if you can say it like that or something like that. Like, and it doesn't, it's not like, it, there is that dankness, but it's not as intense as in a lot of West Coast IPAs. And then it transitioned into like this really nice, pithy, bitter grapefruit vibe. Like really making me think of like uh, the West Coast, like bitter, like, uh, pink grapefruit. There's even like pineapple vibes. And then the yeast is bringing forth a little bit of that like oh, juiciness. Like there is definitely some juiciness. It's not a lot, but there's a little bit of like a stone fruit ester thing. And a little touch of sweetness. It's not a lot. And speaking of like malt complexity, great kind of malt backbone on it. There's not a ton of malt. It's definitely a beer where hops shine, but you taste the malt. There's definitely like that like biscuity bready kind of feel you get from something like a, a Maris Otter or a Golden Promise or something like that. Mm. Man, that's such a dope drinking beer. Look at the lacing too on the glass. You don't see that on your run of the mill haze. Like, man, I truly understand why Alchemist is, you know, it's a brewery that a lot of people hold in a high regard and see as kind of like a classic brewer, a brewer of the Northeast now, because this is such a great interpretation of, of what IPA can be, but still sticking true to what like American IPA is, because it is a more bitter hop centric beer style. And it's like hops first and not like overripe gushing juice. So like there's like, it's super hop centric, but with some soft kind of pillowy juicy things, it's really good. It's really, really good. And there's like some sweeter citrus going on as well. And I guess like I said, like it's a pineapple vibe. maybe even a little bit grassy and herbaceous. Two weeks and this drink's amazing. Like, it is a crusher. Just that rocky head there. Just look at it. It's like marshmallow fluff on top of the beer. This is just such superior beer craftsmanship. Like if I was to make the perfect kind of like hazy type, high, like West Coast-ish hybrid, it's something like this I would aim for. Like. It's probably really hard to do, and this is a beer you can taste that's been brewed like a ton, uh, because it's just, it's so well worked out. There's no off flavors, and everything is just like harmonious and, and, and intertwined. It's really good. Mm. World class. World class. Easy world class. I am so stoked about drinking Fresh Hattie Topper again. That's gonna be up next. Probably not today, but soon, because I want to drink this super fresh as well. And the same with Rapture. Maybe it will be after this review, who knows, because this was dope. Um, wow, I really miss these beers. Such an amazing beer, that's so good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, rating, what do we, I think the original review, we gave it a 97. Um, is it a 97? Like it's almost like a perfect marriage between a New England, a hazy west coast thing like it's it's just it's one of those beers you just want to drink more of it's it's totally like a beer you can 
just kick back with a few because it's big saturation but dryness and bitterness and everything to cut some of all the sweet kind of fruitiness of both hops and yeast so just making it like ultra refreshing and crushable um, but I, th I feel like 97 well it's not too high is it really like it is world class it is 96 97 it's around that territory it's like it's such a benchmark beer like such a benchmark hazy uh west coasty just a benchmark ipa let's stop talking about all these like benchmark american northeast ipa or from the northeast that's just influenced so many brewers and uh <laughs> helped create a whole new style pretty much like this is very far from the new england ipas we're drinking nowadays but I, I I think I'd much rather drink this, to be honest, just because I've missed bitterness in beer so much, uh, especially, of course, IPAs. Um, yeah, and the, even though it's 90 I've used, it's not too much. It's not too much at all. It's like, it's bitter, it's drying, but the sweetness and like the like kind of sweet bready malt, it just keeps it in check perfectly. Yeah, guys, revisit the Focal Banger. This is a gem. This is a... Uh, fantastic beer and so is heady it's gonna be fun to revisit it so yeah if you guys had focal banger and revisited some alchemist in recent time let me know what you thought of it thanks a ton to will for this this is awesome i've never i don't think i've ever had alchemist this fresh which is just amazing so i'm also looking forward to rapture because that's gonna be the first time i try that beer from them it's, uh, i think it was citra and galaxy hops in that one so yeah awesome stuff so, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, also, ring the bell for future notifications about beer videos. And also, check out the competition that's going on. We're going to draw it as uh, draw the winner as soon as we hit the uh, magic 10k mark of subscribers here on YouTube. And you can win a can of this yourself. So, check that out as well. And, of course, thanks to Will for the beer. So, cheers, guys. And see you in another Throwback Thursday.